Hello everyone, like I promised us, um, we're going to go around the 2023 YEC faster questions, okay? So we're starting with the objective and this is the question number one. It's saying that we should evaluate um, 4.314 multiplied by 0 0.00056 over 0 0.0067 and we leave our answer to three decimal places. To do this, you call it 4 point three one four times zero point zero 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 five six divided by zero point zero zero six seven this is what we have with your calculator multiply the numerator four point three one four times zero point zero 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 five six this will give us um zero point zero 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 two four one five eight four then divided by 0 0.0067. When you divide this again with your calculator, you will get a value of 0 0.00, sorry, 0 0.03605713. But the problem says we should leave our answer to three decimal places. So after the decimal point, you count one, two, and three. You stop here at the third point because this number here zero is not up to five right so our answer will become 0 0.0362 three decimal what places which is option b so option b is the correct uh, answer to number one so we go for number two number two says that we should um that there are 30 students in a class and uh 15 study woodwork, Y13 study metal work. Okay, since, since study neither of the two subjects, how many students study woodwork but not metal work? Woodwork but not metal work is the same thing as saying woodwork only. Okay, now to know the number of students that study woodwork only, let us uh, write out all the information presented by the equation. We know that the universal set is 30, total number of students. Let us use W to represent woodwork, meaning that number of woodwork students who offer woodwork is 15, Y number of metal work M is 13. Now, C students do not offer any of the subjects, so you can call it number of woodwork union metal work complement because th these students do not belong to either woodwork or metal work. So, we can say that they are equal to six. Also, do you know that some students can offer both metal work and woodwork at the same time? This number of students, we don't know their number. The equation did not tell us. So we can say, let the number of people that like woodwork and the metal work be equal to what? X. Let us represent this information in a Venn diagram. So let's draw a Venn diagram to represent the information, okay? Now this is a Venn diagram which comprises of a rectangle and circles. The circles represent um, the subset of the universal set. So I can call this one woodwork and call this metal work. We know that our universal set is starting. You can write it somewhere. Then um, X is representing the intersection. Look at where they intersect. You call it X. How many woodwork do we have? There are 50 woodwork. You call it 50 minus X because X here is already existing in the part of W. So it's going to be 15 minus X. Then meta work is 13. So we still have 13 minus X. Six students do are in metal work, are not in metal work, and also woodwork. So they will belong anywhere inside the rectangle, but outside the circle. So the sum of everything inside this rectangle will give us the universal set. So you are not wrong if you write that 15 minus x plus x plus 13 minus x plus the 6, everything is equal to what? 30. 15 plus 13 is 28. 28 plus 6 is 34, right? Now, this x minus x, we cancel plus x. We have minus 34 equal to 30. 
minus x is equal to 30 minus 34. Minus x is minus 4. Minus, we cancel minus. So x is just what? 4. So the value of x is 4. But mind you, we are not looking for x. The question does not want us to get x. It says, how many like woodwork but not metal work? Woodwork is 15 minus x. They want people that are just in woodwork, no attachment with metal work. So this number of students that we need is 15 minus x. And already our x is 4. So 15 minus 4 is equivalent to 11. Therefore, 11 is the correct option. Option C. Let us take another one. 